When I paint, um, I think about what is going to be the end, but even when I had it planned out, how it's going to look like, it was always part of a process of a, of a kind of growing or a kind of flux, which took me to a new experiment or a new arrival. It was interesting me to sort of melt in the, the two, the figurative uh, repetition of the figurative motives and elements, repeating them into a sort of uh, automatism where abstraction arises and it kind of frees the whole, uh, uh, not just the structure or the composition of the painting, but also frees me. Uh, in two dimensions, so I can stop thinking of this foregone background. I could be more uh, operating on the push and pull in the paintings, and the push and pull is that kind of dimension building uh, structure when you uh, let the painting uh, have a conversation with you. So it's, it's a losing control and gaining control back method. The process is built by this incredible mobility of uh, polarism. Like, you know, I push and pull or lose control or I'm being in control. Fragility stands uh, against uh, incredible violence. So I'm interested in this uh, very two-sidedness which also could be observed as a gender issue because here is the male and the female and we think them as two opposites and, uh, and grace and gravity. <laughs> you know, we can go endlessly uh, with these metaphors and uh, I do think that my work just shows this bipolarity. Darkness interest me, oddity, madness. I think it frees you from uh, social norms. Scaring away with my work is actually nice because I can alienate myself and be, you know, <laughs> have more space for myself. Um, and I think that happens often with artists that walking this edge, you know, being on the edge, um, Preferring to, you know, preferring loneliness uh, instead of social uh, engagements, and then if you feel more productive and darkness, pain, it just fuels uh, creation. But uh, I, I don't find it, you know, I don't find it painful to work. In fact, how I said the the liberation for me to, to work is uh, that kind of emptiness, that kind of emptying God when, when I stop thinking. My thinking is really eclectic, unfocused, it's too visual, it's like outside word, it's extremely informative and I suffer from that so in painting I could you know, just sort of let, let it all go and um, be still in time and space. Everything is spiritual around us. I think what I have in my work is um, aiming for perfection and uh, spiritualism could be that sort of wishing for perfection as well. So in that sense you can look at my work you know, spiritual. Ha <laughs>